Hello everyone. Today it's not going to be a repair, it's going to be an upgrade instead. We have here Behringer Ultragrain Pro Digital Converter. There are tons of materials on the internet and how can you upgrade this device and make it compete with $1,000 devices. So what we're going to be checking today is three different, up, uh, three different upgrades. So the first one is of course changing the amplifiers. So I replaced the standard TL074 to OPA4134. I have replaced all the channels apart from those two. Then on the channel one to four, I have replaced electrolytic capacitors with a film capacitors. And also on two channels, I have added in parallel to electrolytic capacitors, a two film capacitors. As you can see, I did those modes to only certain channels. So by the end of this video, we will be able to see how every mode impacts the sound, if at all. Let's check it out. I'm going to be using the software called REW to check the sound quality, frequency response, a harmonic distortions, all this kind of stuff. And I have my interface connected through a Toslink cable to the output of the Behringer converter. And of course, the output of my interface goes into input so we can have the loop and measure it. Let me run a few passes for you and uh, then we can see how it goes. As you can see, I'm going through the channels one by one. The channel one has all the modes. The channel two has the OPA4134 installed plus film capacitors next to it. Then the channel five has the original amplifier plus the film caps in the preamp. The channel six has no modes, all original. And then the channel seven has only the amplifier replaced. On every channel, I did the sweep test with four passes. So I assume that's a precise enough for my purpose. And let's get to the results. As you can see on the screen, there is an overlay with all five channels. And frankly, apart from the difference in the level, I don't really see any difference. The frequency response look exactly the same. The phase is a little bit different. Harmonic distortions are a tiny bit different, but not a lot. And the rest to me seems the same. Of course, I also did a few audio tests. I captured the signals of the tracks that I very familiar with and just trying to compare and do like a blind test failed really. I was not able to tell the difference. So yeah, that was the result of my investigation. I hope it was useful for someone and good luck with your modes.